Hello everybody, this is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers build tutorial video. Today, uh, we are now painting the Graboid, this wonderful little ship we have going on right here. It's been our little miner for a while, and uh, I gotta tell y'all, I gave y'all a choice of what to paint this, and um, it was a very, very close, very, very close uh, election for this. It was amazing. Uh, just 42% is what it won by whereas uh painting this cat colors like the caterpillar brand uh yeah that didn't that that almost made it too so it was, it was clear you guys both like that uh we're probably going to do something i'm probably going to use the cat color some of the time but right now it's the black orange and gray for this graboid so getting started here <clears throat> as i start up here and turn on my jet pack i'm gonna hop over here for a minute and we're gonna do some painting now Someone asked me about this in uh, an earlier video. I think it was the last one. Someone wanted to know how to do, you know, like a tutorial on painting. And so we're going to do that here today as well, because I have not really talked about that very much, painting. And it is something that's very important in building a ship. So we're going to start out here. First, we got to get our color palette set up. And when playing Space Engineers, it's a good idea to... Get your colors where you want them to go. Like right there, we've got a nice orange. We have the black. And we've got a decent kind of light gray. Let me see if we can't darken that just a tad there. And there we go. We've got our three main colors here. Now, the way this works with Space Engineers is when you're painting a ship, the rule I go by is primary, secondary, detail. You want three colors. Uh, so right here, our black is going to be our primary color. Our secondary color is going to be this orange here, which is what we're going to use for stripes and stuff like that. And then our detail color for our DACA and fine details in certain areas, we're going to go with this kind of a dark gray. And it, contrasting it with this black, it's going to show up. And that's another thing. You don't want to use colors that... Uh, your detail color should contrast really hard and should probably be some type of neutral color than your main color. If this were a white, I would pro or if this was a black, I would probably make this a white or a gray. If it were something like light yellow, I'd probably go with a black somewhere along in there. Uh, it's just normally what looks good. You don't want colors that clash, but you do want colors that contrast really good. Think old school superhero comics, okay? Uh, superhero characters such as Superman, you had red, blue, and yellow. Uh, the red and the blue contrasted. Blue is the primary color of Superman's outfit. Red was the secondary color, and yellow was for the fine details, the S on the chest, the belt, the trim on the boots, all that stuff. So... First off, we're going to start with this, and because I think we need a more retrofit look to this thing, go with that, press 1, and we're going to do a full control shift and middle click on the mouse button, transform the entire ship this nice radiant black look, nice and shiny, it looks pretty. <laughs> that's what we're going to go with right now. Now, after this, this is pretty much what you got to do to get it to this particular color setting. You can see right now our pipe cage has suddenly blended in. We've got our drills on here. Um, we are going to set some stuff for some fine detail and things. We're going to make them a little bit different. But right now, next on here, and this is why I say this is the easiest way to paint a ship. You get your primary color in first. Then you go in and you do your secondary color, and then you detail everything. So then secondary color is this nice orange. And for the orange, just because we want this to look a little different, let's do a clean armor. Oh, not defaults. Ah, why did you do that? Game, why? There we go. Back to our lovely orange here. There we go. So we're going to go with a clean armor on this <clears throat> so that this clean look has an effect. And we're going to go over here and we're going to look for some areas that we can 
just put that clean color on. Right there. And like I said, this is just a detail color. That's all you really want this for. Is just some real minor details in certain areas. Sure, we're not missing a color here. And sometimes you end up in this situation where you gotta go through a block every so often. We'll add detailing there. I may have to pull a block or two off here just to get some detail underneath. That's no biggie. That's no biggie at all. Right here. Add some tips to that. Think on down here, take a look at where the orange is coming across. Want to just kind of be like Bob Ross and have happy accidents. Okay, we've got all that. This middle one here, we may have to remove a small block here and there just to make the detail working. But you can see right here how the detail is going on. We're just putting on this light. It's not there to make anything look impressive. It is just there. That small detail is just there to give that extra look. And we're already, you can see right there, we're already getting the MCRN look right there. Look at that. It's beautiful. And uh, coming back over here, I think what we'll do is we'll come across on this. We'll just paint this section there. Make that look good. And uh, maybe paint that too while we're at it. Keep the drills black. I think see right now we're already looking like the MCRN look, but we want finer details. We're going to want some finer details. Let me go in here. We're going to remove... These blocks here, because I can always put these back. Just so we can have this wraparound effect of the MCRN colors. That nice black and orange going around it. You see right there, that looks really good. I think I'm going to just go ahead and hit this thing here too. Because I don't see why not. That... And there we go. It looks beautiful. It looks amazing. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I can color while I'm at it? Probably not. Probably not. We're going to leave it just like that. We're not going to color anything else. This has the nice MCRN look to it. And now, I'm going to go to number 7. And we're going to go to P again. Pull out this lighter color here for the moment. And I kind of want to do dusty armor on this one. And that is looking a little light. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It looks like when I put it in. Yeah, that's a little light. Um, let's go back here. Back to this gray. And let's give it a little bit of a darker shade here. I don't want that too bright. It's still not enough. We go too dark here. Yo, and we got dusty armor. That's dusty. Like a, a lightly rusted armor. Hi, right, there we go. Lightly rusty. How that looks. See, now that looks a lot better. That looks a little better. There. 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 And we're going to dock the ship now. In the name of Daka. We do this. <laughs> Now, I know some of you are going to say this kind of defeats the purpose of an MCRN ship because the MCRN ships are usually very, very, you know, sleek looking. But you got to remember, this is a ship that has to do a lot. That does some pretty difficult work. We want it to look a little rustic. We want it to look a little nasty. It can't look 
completely perfect all the way around. Check here. Oh yeah, I put that back in and there. And like I said, we just it's gonna be a little, probably a little bit shorter video in my opinion, unless I decide to add another color here, which I just might. A whole nother color. Like I said, you just start your color and go on. You can see right there, that's already giving us a very interesting look. The DACA is the the parts, the extra fine detail parts that we put inside of this thing are starting to pop out. And I just noticed something right here. I added something underneath there. I might leave that. I don't know. I think I can probably brick it. Got to trick it here. No, nope, can't do it. We're just going to have to gently delete that. Well, probably not. Because if I delete that and I throw it back on there, uh, it's going to make the other ones underneath look bad. So we've got that. Let's just keep working on this detail here. Like I said, that's, that's how you start a ship is three colors go from there. And those three colors will just give you the ability to work all kinds of options in your ship. Like here, you can see all this detail is now coming into play here. We got a lot of detail, lots and lots of detail here. As we just work on that detail there, all the little detail blocks that we've added. This creates a whole dynamic on the entire ship. So now it's not just, oh, look, we've got a few options here. Now it's, hey, we've got a lot of options here. And our ship looks amazing. Walk this over, add that one in. Add that one in. Like I said, <clears throat> Painting a ship is really not hard if you stick by the three rule. That is primary, secondary, and detail. Right now we're putting in detail. And you saw you see how quick this is going. It's also a fast way to, to get your ships out there and get them to looking just amazing. I am thinking about repainting the entire IWL fleet because uh, Stratus Gaming has the same color scheme as I do, and I, I'm not in the, in the mood to, like, clash with anybody over anything. So, uh, yeah, we got that going on there. Uh, this cage here, bring it out a little bit more. But if I hit it like that, I'm going to have problems. So, I need to take this down a lot, in my opinion. and gray it a bit. There we go. Because these flash tubes are nice and, you know, I can go all further here without, oh boy, that's gonna be a fun one to reach. All right, there we go there. So now the cage ain't bright as bright. Not like the freaking lights or anything. I could probably take it a little bit further down. I think it's just a wee bit further down. Does. And it's giving it that gray look. Which I'm wanting. I may do something with a cockpit. Might just paint the cockpit orange or something. I done there. <laughs> this is the best part about the mirror tool as well, because the mirror tool also works. On Also works while you're painting. 
Let's see. That cockpit right there. I want to change that a bit, I think. Or. That may be a rusty look. Eh, it kind of matches, fortunately. <laughs> no, go back to the black here. Go back to black. How did I do that a minute ago? Oh, wait, that's right. We had a different... Uh... Oh, let's see. Retro rivet armor. There we go. And I think I want to... Grab a very bright yellow here. I want to do clean. Oh... Fortunately, I'm done with that, but we need to go with a very bright yellow and clean. Hit the default by accident. My lord. Paint that orange. Yellow looking. This is just extra stuff I'm doing right here just to make things work a little bit. Interesting. See that there. Alright, those are done. That's done. You can see the lights now. They pop a little bit more. We go up here to this. No, not like that. Why not? not? That make that a little yellow. And then <clears throat> make all these yellow as well. They kind of stand out because this is the hazardous part of the ship. You you do want to make that a little give a little hazard tape to that. And then back to rusty, light gray. There. We're going to head over to this. Make both of those kind of like that. And uh, there you go. And uh, like I said, this, this, this color scheme barely won out in the uh the system it barely won out in the vote the the poll i put up online <clears throat> but here you go folks you have a graboid miner in mcr in colors the orange and black it looks good it looks snazzy you've got this nice looks like steel cage all around it you've got this nice inner workings you got these awesome drills here that if I could, I'd add some more detail to them at some point. And of course, you can hop right in this thing, and it looks good. Fire up its drills. Watch it just fly up to this. Especially up against this light asteroid here, because then you see this thing just come in here. Right up next to the asteroid. Then we start our mining operation immediately. Watch as it burrows into the asteroid. <laughs> A nice easy to burrow ship that looks amazing and since we pulled out all of the stops with it and gave it the gave it its little treatment now it looks amazing and so you've got something that you can pull out put into the game and this is all vanilla by the way so you got this awesome looking vanilla ship, which will help you guys out tremendously. This thing will carry a full small cargo containers worth of cargo. You just go out there, grab something, bring it back. Oh, anyway, folks, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys will like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. As always, I am Badger Wild. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay safe, stay frosty, and I am signing out.